With a lot of proposals to crack down on New Mexico's most dangerous drivers, now there's a plan to go after drivers who try to get away with their crimes. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe with that story. Madeline? Yeah, well, Dean, the legislator says the law on the books right now isn't punishing these hit and run drivers like they should be punished. Right now in New Mexico, it's a third degree felony to knowingly leave the scene of an accident in which someone is severely injured or even dies. Albuquerque Representative Sarah Maestas Barnes wants to up that to second degree felony, which means up to three years for hurting someone and up to six years if someone dies just damaging a car and deciding to drive off, she wants that to be a felony as well. Oftentimes it's not an intentional crime, but they have the decision to make at that point. Are they going to do the right thing, stay at the scene of the crime, fulfill their responsibilities as not only a citizen of the state of New Mexico, but of this great country, or are they going to leave? My Estes Barnes says this bill would send a stronger message to those people who choose to run. It is a bipartisan bill being sponsored by both My Estes Barnes and a Democrat out of Las Cruces, so, so they are hopeful that it will pass. Back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. Drunk drivers who take off from deadly crash scenes would still be looking at vehicular homicide charges, which carry up to 15 years per victim.